Hello everybody, it's Brian Ivey, President Meteorologist from NeoWeather. Look at this, this is gonna be some snowflakes here across portions of Minneapolis drifting down into Chicagoland. Rain to snow on the southern side, staying all light to slushy snow on the northern side it looks likely as that will move through. We'll get some moisture to move across portions of the deep south, the southern plains area. Look at that, some decent amount of rain shower activity and then there you go. Here's the system I was talking about, snow on the northern half. That'll be pushing up across portions of upstate New York, up into New England as well on the back side of that system. Look at all that heavy rain moving through the east coast out across the Atlantic. That's just cold blast number one. It's going to be a very cold pattern. Watch multiple different waves of cold air start to drop on in across portions of the area. You can see back towards portions of the west is where it's going to start well below average temperature shot at the end of this week. The weekend will get a reload. Extreme cold, January like cold in towards not a localized area, but a huge area across much of the eastern half of the country. That will dissipate a little bit going through the middle of next week before more cold air reloads. Really, really going to feel cold air this November, the coldest month since uh, beginning of the year pretty much. These are some of the temperatures possible Monday morning up across portions of the upper Midwest. That's in the teens, maybe even single digits. We're in the 20s for a widespread area and you have to go all the way down across the Tennessee Valley to find anything near freezing and above. Crazy chilly air coming up through the middle of the month and that will bring some wintry mischief most likely. We'll reload things as we go towards the end of the week, end of the weekend, and then start to see a couple of systems begin to form. This is with one of the big cold shots that I was showing you. Watch how that drifts down. That could be a widespread snowmaker for the Sunday into Monday period across the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, in towards the northeast, and then cold tundra across very warm open lakes. Oh boy, this could be a major lake effect event if things set up right with the winds where the lows and the highs are all located streaming across the Great Lakes. We'll see how again the winds kind of adjust if it's going to be more westerly fetch or more from the north. But by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we could be looking at a very snowy situation. Hold your breath. Take it easy. These numbers don't necessarily mean they're going to verify. Could be way off in spots. But this is the overall idea. This is a very snowy map that you see for several days out on the models indicating a widespread area from multiple computer model forecasts of several inches of snow, especially across the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, up into portions of New England, at least the Northeast, and then much of Southern Canada getting in on the action as well. So this isn't going to be just a cold pattern. There will be some snowy shots also. All right, we're all going to get through it together, and if you're a snow contractor, you're going to get through it a lot better with a weather forecasting service. Here at NeoWeather, we love to be able to help you out and totally set us apart from anything you can remotely get from a free source like an app.